throughout the past week, um, there's been a back and forth, of course, between you and Gardema. And um, how would you respond to people who say, for instance, that you might be being too vocal against Gardema, considering you're also part of the NBAG who would be deciding on his case? This is not a ground for inhibition. Mm -hmm. At first, I was quiet, if you notice. It was almost 48 hours, no? Aside from the fact that mm -hmm. a TV network wasn't calling me after they interviewed him. Mm -hmm. I said, no, we'll just answer him in the hearing. But he kept at it, you know, and people was, were worrying that if I didn't come out, they might believe him. So there is no rule that requires me to be quiet when I am under, and my reputation is under attack, and the integrity of the institution is under attack. In fact, it is my duty to defend mm -hmm. the Commission on Elections when we are under attack. Mm -hmm. But look at who's attacking us. Somebody who was disqualified. Mm -hmm. I mean, his credibility is negative 100 is just digging his grave every day that they keep on giving him interviews mm -hmm. i don't know why he said in tagalog akala ko pa naman siya ang pinakamatino sa comelec what does he mean mm -hmm. that our chairman is corrupt that the commissioners are corrupt and he thought all the while i was pinakamatino or not corrupt that's crazy accusation. That, that's, that, that cannot stand. Because the people, the people must know what kind of commission on elections they are, what kind of people run this commission on elections. If they, people think that we can all be bought, eh, what kind of democracy are we going to produce? Uh, how's that? Like him. Oh, he says he's backed up by very powerful people, so. If I don't give in, he's going to file an impeachment complaint or not. Give me a break, Cardema. Just go ahead and file it. I'm richer than you. I have more lawyers than you. I have more friends in Congress than you. So you put up or you shut up. 